of the Canadian Card Collector here, and welcome back to day 266 of your daily deck review. The deck that we're taking a look at today is the Bicycle Vintage Christmas Playing Cards. So, with no further ado, let's take a look and see what we get. So here we have that Bicycle Vintage Christmas Playing Cards, still fully sealed in that cellophane. So we're going to see through the pull tab and crack these open. And there might be one here right on the side. So we crack that open. And let that's off. As you can see, you can see it's in a gloss, standard glossy finish tuck box. You kind of got like this like off-white kind of background for the tuck box. You got the bicycle logo there in green. And you got like a kid looking at his Christmas tree with all the presents there. It says vintage Christmas playing cards. On the side, you got a little bit of like that pattern there. And it says the United States Playing Card Company. Other side says air cushion finish, made in the USA with more of that like diamond pattern. On the bottom, you got the collectible playing card logo, which put like these are from. Yeah, these are from collectible playing cards. And then you got some corporate information. These are from 2022, the United States Playing Card Company, made in the USA. On the back, got a sneak peek of that back design. And for the seal, you got a stamp style seal with the off white border and you got the white inside with the red and green spade there with santa claus's face there on the top it's got more of that diamond pattern now if we crack the seal with our handy dandy card opener it's not gonna be the most perfect seal because this card opener is not like the sharpest anymore we're probably gonna need a new one so we get actually a good cut uh, Cuts, but anyway, on the inner tuck, on the tuck flap, you got some corporate information. Inner tuck flap is just that glossy, like off white color. So we take the cards out of the box. If the cards will stay there, on the inside of the tuck box, it is just plain white, nothing too crazy or fancy going on inside there. Now that we took a look at the tuck box. Have a look at the cards, and first we'll start with the back design. Here we have a mirrored borderless back design. And by borderless, there's the kind of pattern or image of the back goes all the way to the edges. So there's no defining border. There's that green pattern for the back back design goes all the way to the edges. So it's fully inked to back design. Then you've got that diamond pattern, which is mirrored. Also, a few like stars. So, you got some yellows, reds, a little bit of greens, and some whites mixed in there with that green background. And they all have different like patterns, of, like stripes, snowflakes, little flower kind of little stars, some waves, some dots. So, a bunch of different shapes and styles there. And there's a mirrored back sign. So, if you flip it around, same design in both directions. And it's a fully inked deck, so the more you use these, like the edges could like chip a little bit. You can kind of like lightly see like white there. So like the more you use these, like the edges could chip a little bit, and like the ink could like come off and like start turning white. So that's one thing to take notice with fully inked decks. Now for the cards you get with the deck. Here we start with the first Joker. It says Joker, Joker. Then the red. Then you got a gingerbread man in. Like a black and white outfit there. Link to the gingerbread face. And for the second a Joker, it says Joker Joker, but in green. And then you got like a black and white kind of Joker there. You got like a colored one and then like a more of like a black and white style. But two identical images. Like the images are the same, just a different colorway. And then for that custom ace of spades, you got that same spade that you've seen. I think you've seen one on wait. Oh yeah, on the seal. You've seen that on the seal. That's where I've seen that. Yeah, you got the the green, like green and red spade there with Santa Claus there in the middle. And you got the custom little spades there in the middle, and they as you can see it's in a green kind of colorway. So you got the custom green numbers and spades there in the middle, and the spades themselves are green and custom. They are like this pretty much like the standard like spade shape. But they have like a little snowflake with inside. So it's green with snowflakes for the spades. 
And then for those court cards, they're pretty standard court cards. Just red and green colorway for Christmas. For that Christmas kind of vibe. And they got a little bit of like, kind of like a different shade of like whitish gray kind of color mixed in there too. And then for the diamonds, you got pretty standard diamonds. You've got that snowflake look once again with the inside. The spades and there's still, I mean the diamonds and they're still that red colorway. And then for the court cards, once again, in that green and red colorway, the standard court cards. And then the clubs also have that snowflake kind of pattern within it, and they're the green colorway. And the court cards are in that red and green colorway, once again. Same thing with the spades, pretty standard spades. They might be slightly different. Like, the shape of it might be slightly different, but still pretty standard looking. And then the hearts, once again, maybe a slightly different heart shape, but like, they got that like snowflake design in it, in that red colorway, and the court cards are just in that green and red colorway. Then you got the hearts there with that snowflake pattern inside. And then the last two cards in the deck, you got a double backer of the back design, and you got the collectible playing cards, add card there, the black background, and the logo there in the middle. The back sign on the back. Now that we took a look at the cards, time to test the handling. And these are bicycle cards, so they should potentially handle pretty good. But these are fully inked on the front, so I don't think the faces, the faces weren't really fully inked, no. Just the back design is fully inked, so it could make the cards slightly thicker. But first, we'll start with the springs. Well, they seem to have a little, some flex to it. Yeah, the flex isn't too bad. The card seemed to be pretty smooth. No issues with that. And you got a nice flex to it. They're definitely still like, like, like stiffer and thick. I like the thicker stock. Oh, and that because it's fresh right out of the box, so they're not broken in at all either. But they still like flex pretty good. Like, I don't have to put too much pressure into it. We still gotta put some in to spring them. Because they're slightly stiff. But overall, so pretty smooth springs. And one, two, the fans. That nice green fan there. As you can see, they spread pretty evenly. You can see most of the pips and numbers. No real stickiness or clumpiness to the fans. And one, two, the pharaoh. And as you can see, they failed flawlessly there. No issues whatsoever. Nice and smooth. And they interlock away flawlessly. And for that giant fan of the back design. Now, time for. The Riffle Shuffle or Bridge Shuffle. No, I mean, no, I messed that up. Time for the Reverse Pharaoh. I'm getting ahead of myself there. The Reverse Pharaoh wasn't too bad. They did catch a little bit. They interlocked the weave. Okay, there's a little bit of spaces. Well, not too bad. Now for the Giant Fan of the Faces. Okay, now time for the Riffle Shuffle or Bridge Shuffle. Oh yeah, no issues there. Oh yeah, you could shuffle these all day, like riffle these all day. These are just like the smoothest feeling riffles. Oh yeah, this is one of the best, for some reason, riffling like decks to riffle and bridge shuffle. They just feel so smooth straight out of the box, which is fantastic. I like to see that. There's something about them is just really nice to shuffle like that. So if you ever get your hands on these, you gotta riffle shuffle these because they feel just fantastic for some reason. 
I don't know. I'm just I'm overexcited about that. But now we're moving on to the packet cuts. Well, the pack cuts were pretty smooth. I didn't, they didn't feel too slippery, which is a good thing, I guess. So they won't slide out of your hands too much. But cards are cards, and they can just slide in your hands at any random moment. Now, type for the one handed cut or surely a cut. Now time for the dribble. Overall, pretty smooth dribbles there. No wheel issues there. Now time for that spread fan. And we'll actually spread the cards on the table. Well, like I say, these are pretty fantastic deck of custom bicycle cards. They were better than expected. You got that fully inked back design there with that diamond style pattern there. Well kind of like more vintage kind of like patterns there. And then for the faces you got those fully custom faces where you have the hearts and the diamonds are obviously that red color, but then you got the spades and the clubs, which are that green colorway. So you got the red and green for the Christmas colors. And then they all have that like snowflake kind of pattern within the, the suits there. Which is pretty nice. So fully custom faces there. And then the court cards are in the green and red colorway. To fit that Christmas color vibe. So overall pretty nice and fantastic kind of Christmas kind of like vibe design to it. Which I don't hate there. Obviously some people won't like the Christmas kind of theme. But if you're into Christmas decks like I am for some reason. This is a fantastic deck, and for that handling, these handle really good for some reason. Like, for a custom like bicycle deck with a fully inked back, like these handle like really good. Like I found no issues whatsoever. Like, nice and smooth. They're not like overly slippery. And one of my favorite things to do with this now that I just found out is riffling them. Like riffle shuffling them because they just feel so smooth. That's if you actually get one to work, if you don't mess it up. But even still, like they still like, kind of work, even if you mess it up. Like they're just super smooth for the riffles. I just can't get over that. But, anyways, you got that fantastic design, fantastic handling, overall, fantastic deck. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed. And this has been. Day 266 of your daily deck review. This has been the Bicycle Vintage Christmas Playing Cards from Collectible Playing Cards. And I'm the Canadian Card Collector, signing out. That's the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.